Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we are going to be continuing with the Lens i550 drive where we're going to be running drive today in remote control doing a uh, 2 and 3 wire controls also we'll be using a potentiometer if you're watching this video and you've already seen the last video there's one thing I forgot to do in the last video once I finished the whole body commissioning is click the set when I, I mean hold the, the, the enter button down for three seconds to save all the parameters don't forget to do that because I just had to buy I just turned off the drive and uh, let, it, let it run for about a few hours and I put it back on and everything was back to where it was because I forgot to save it so make sure you hold that save button and save all those parameters and make sure the set in here it's not flashing so yes so that's what we'll be doing today and if you missed the last video do check out the last video in a description below and all the manuals and the else i will build think that will benefit you in any possible way will be in the description below so let's get started <laughs> Here we are, so uh, one thing is for sure, lens in, in every possible way are very much different than any other drives I've worked with, which is a lot of fun figuring out how the uh, things are done because programming these digital inputs is rather than uh, going to digital input and assigning, the, assigning something, whatever you're trying to do to the digital input, you actually go to the actually uh, to, uh, to the process what you want to do, you assign digital input to, which is the other way around like anyone else do. Perfect. Anyway, so uh, so yeah, what we're going to do in here, quickly I'm going to show you, because there's one thing I'm going to show you in a minute, uh, the, where we're getting 24 volts for. So you can see down here, when you turn around, this is where you can see all your, what's, what, what is it, these terminals in here, and then you can see what these terminals in here, so sorry, you can have a look at it. So my analog in here, I'm using uh, the, the 10 volts in here, and then I'm using my analog input one, and then I'm also using the grounding in here. That's what, that's going to be for my analog input. So this is something I'm going to be able to show you in a minute for dry. And as you can see, my 24 volts is right here as well. So that's pretty much that. This is where we're getting our source for control wires. And now we need to figure out how to put this bugger back in. There we go. So the, 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 the station we're going to be using is very standard. What we always use for our videos. It's gonna be a uh, we're gonna be a run forwards, run reverse, jog, and we're also gonna be using potentiometer. And my potentiometer is 10 kilo ohms. So uh, wiring. Let me run you through the wiring as well as usual. Quickly show you my a uh, uh, potentiometer. As you can see, uh, three wire control, three wires coming out and going in the back, which I just just showed you. So uh, 24 volt signals coming to my uh, e-stop in here. There's one thing you can do, and actually, that's what we are going to be doing. So let me rearrange the cables, and I will be I will be back. There we are. We are back. So uh, this uh, number two, as you can see, that now from my e-stop is going back in the back with this guy in here for my plus. So when I click e-stop, boom, it will shut the drive down. It's classed as an e-stop and it will shut it down and then you can uh, remove it and we will uh, go back to a uh, on position again. So boom, 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 boom. Perfect. So we obviously, this, this, is, the, this is not what, the, what the, 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 they are advising. Well, they're not really advising anything. So there is uh, sort of a couple of diagrams for this, uh, for this unit in here. I'll see if you can find the manual. I'll definitely leave that in the manual description for you as well to check it out. There's a couple of ways you can wire this in, but this is a very good unit for a safety if you want to use one. So yeah, so that wire goes back in the back of our safety unit down there, power and the safety unit. So then we have a uh, start button, which is our digital input one. Uh, digital input two is going to be our a uh, 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 reverse, and digital input three is going to be our jog, and that's pretty much how the wiring would go back to the unit. What we got in here, so well, these guys in here. So the next what we need to do, we need to a uh, uh, make some selections. We are not going to be using an enable signal and things like that. So we we keeping everything like that from the last video. Basically, this is continuation from the last video. So now we need to jump uh, uh, jump into group uh, two. And we need to change our control into flexible IOs. And also, uh, we're going to go and change our frequency for a analog input one. You can choose. There's two analog inputs in the back. I believe, is there two? Yeah, there's two analog inputs in the back. So you can choose one or the other. And uh, I do believe there's a setting in there. By, by default, the setting is 0 to 10 volts. So, uh, so yeah, that's, we're not going to change that. But there's, you can change it to current as well if you wish to. 
and that can be found in the parameter 430.01 as you can see in here this, uh, this guy in here this is where you can select between your uh, uh, analogs and other uh, 0 to 10, 0 to 5 and 2 to 10 never seen 2 to 10 but that's Fair enough. So, uh, so yeah, regarding then uh, setting up the uh, IOs, I'm going to be doing a bit different. You can do it actually from default if you want to, but I'm not going to do it default. So I'm going to configure my IOs differently. So let's go to group four and let's go to 401, not 401. That stays true as a name will keep the enable single as a signal as do. Run will keep this is it true, and then we're gonna go to uh, to the uh, not start forward, start forward. We we'll get to that in a minute, but run forward. So run forward, digital input one, digital input two for the uh, run reverse, and obviously jog is gonna be on our digital input three. Jog in this drive is is, is weird. It's just, I, sh I went through the manual like crazy trying to find out where do you adjust jog frequency. Could not find anywhere. There's literally, unless somebody can point it out to me, I just went through it and works out that the jog frequency is minimum frequency. In parameter 210, as you can see in there, I set that as a five and from there on jog is working for the five frequency. So that's, for whatever reason, it is tied to minimum frequency. I don't know why. But if you want to change your joke frequency, that's where you change it and uh, we leave it at that. So let me put on the cover and I'll show you how that works. Yeah, so the cover is on. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn it on and it's not working because as you can see down there, it's a K on there. If by any chance you have clicked stop in here to stop something, it will put the K in front of it. You do need to make sure you remove that, just remove it by uh, a push and start button. And there we go, you are on. So uh, and there we go, yeah, so it's just but then jumped up very straight forward. Believe it or not, within this drive, when you click both switches, it doesn't lock out. It lets it go in reverse and you can turn it off. So basically you can activate with run and run reverse. You can do it differently if you want this to be just a run signal and the reverse forward with a select the switch. That is by default. You can do that with digital input three. Do check out the drawings and things like that. What is on the, on, uh, on uh, uh, defaults. I obviously change things around the way I like it. So and obviously and there's a uh, that jog I was talking about. Five hertz going forwards. Jog shows in there, and that's jog uh, frequency. It is tied to a minimum frequency. Don't know why. Maybe I'm not safe finding something, but I just got tired of reading manual. Couldn't find absolutely nothing in it. That would, and that's just only one. Uh, that's just the one that it came to. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much where I covers the two wire control. So let's jump on to three wire control. So for three wire control, this is our station in here. This is what it's going to look like. We're going to have a uh, stop button. We're going to have a run forward, run reverse, and also we are going to have a potentiometer. So and also we have our restop in here, which works with this card. Not directly. It's just I just removed the power from there. But you can do. There's other ways to do it, obviously. So. Uh, Here's our uh, setup. So I have two, two normally closed contacts and two normally open contacts. We got, we've got the 24 volt signal coming in here, coming through that. Uh, uh, this signal down there from uh, e stop is going back to our back of a card for supplying the card down there. Then it goes into the, a, a stop signal. From stop signal, we have a uh, we have a uh, permanently closed signal going back to digital input three, which I have assigned to be my run uh, and enable signal. So uh, I will show that in a minute and uh, basically run signal. So, uh, and then from there on is we have digital input as the one and digital input two is, is uh, run forward and run reverse respectively. And obviously we have our, digi uh, the, our potentiometer right here. So when it comes down to setting up uh, this kind of system, what we need to do, we need to reassign this guy. Let me just get to it straight away. Uh, I don't know why I'm in here. So uh, there. By the way, I was just checking this guide out, the digital input inversion. You can do that if you wish to, so it's just really good. I love this, all these options and functions when you have in the drive. I'll be playing around a little bit, but yeah, this is not what we're gonna do. So if we go back to a, uh, why do we overshot so much? There, in, uh, not in enable in, in Nerva, but the run enable. So this run signal is actually classed as a stop. 
So uh, you need to assign if you're using three wire control, you need to assign that one of digital inputs, and uh, I, and as as you can see, and if you click on it, I digital the input three. But uh, usually you would say true to always be on. So as soon as you remove the true and assign it to any of the digital inputs, it will require normally a, a permanent source of power, which we are doing with our stop button. So that's pretty much what that is. And then we go for a, these guys. Start forwards with a latchet and start reverse with a latchet as well. So uh, these are the two, as you can see down there, assigned to digital one and assigned to a digital input two. And that's pretty much all you really need to do because everything else we already done uh, previously. So let me put the cover on and we'll go from here. Here we go, so the cover is on, so there we are. So basically, start forwards, have your nice uh, potentiometer in there. You can actually look at this. And it goes straight and backwards. You can jump for one and another. Options and there. there's uh, options are there for that as well. And then you stop with that. And if you're in run mode, I shut that down with the uh, restart. We'll do that. And that's pretty much for the three wire control HDMI. Obviously, there is ton more in this drive. Just because it's like a bloody living computer. Uh, this drive has been nothing but fun. I've learned so much about lens, the way lens is doing things. Absolutely different than anyone else out there does it. And well. So far, what I've tested so far, I have not seen anybody working the way Lens does and the way they build their uh, system. So it's quite interesting and fun actually working with it. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this will be it for this video. In the next video, we'll look at a two MOP and a multi-frequency setup. So if you like the video, smash that like. Do subscribe if you like if you like what we're doing here. So uh, yeah, any questions, anything you want to know and ask, do ask them in the comment section in below. All the manuals and everything else you need is in the description below. Do check it out, all the related videos. So on that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.